Okay, uh, part uh, <coughs> part 21 of the truck project. Uh, it's engine mount time. So today I've uh, I've had a big day of cutting steel and and making patterns and fabricating well and all that stuff. But anyway, at the end of it, I've uh, I've ended up with a, a pair of engine mounts I'm happy with. Uh, what I've done basically is I've put I've utilised the original I've utilised the original. Um, the original JAG cross member mount. It's a bit dark, I might have to use a light. But anyway, that's uh that's the uh that's the that's the block um engine mount uh there that's uh what I've used is a, a nolothane bushing that's uh I think that's a a Cortina uh suspension uh, part actually so and uh, that's a 9 16 bolt through the guts and uh, basically what I've done is to um, I've used the um, like I said I've used the original uh, uh, engine mount placement from the JAG, uh, JAG independent front end and uh, just utilise that because uh, I don't know I've tossed and thought about it for a while and basically that's the way it's going to happen for this uh, build. So, um, yeah, this is all made out of of uh, six mil plate. It's probably a bit overbuilt, over engineered, but but anyway, at the end of the day, um, I'm pretty sure it won't break. Um, so yeah, it's probably it's a fairly efficient way of mounting the engine. I, I could have put the big tube under the engine and fussed around with that, but. Um, I would imagine that this would probably have a lot less flex than that and um, so that's basically one mount I've got there that's um, on the bench and the second mount I have is actually I've got that mounted on the on the truck and uh, I'll slip around the slip around the light here and um, oh. Uh, that's it there. That's it there. So that's uh, I've used four of the original bolt holes for the the jag mount, and what I'll do is once I um, I'll extend the um, that base that the mounts bolt to in the end when um, when this thing all comes apart to be painted, I'll do that at that time. But yeah, so. I've got the, I've got the, I've put the engine back as far as I can. Um, that's the, that's the rear wood cylinder heads. It's not overly close, but um, that's the, that's the front of the pan there. Um, basically, yeah, the, pretty much the front of the, the front of the sump lines up with the cross member. That's as far back as I can get it, and. Um, the this is a, a road race type sump with gates and uh, wings and all sorts of things in it. So that's that's just enough clearance for the um, just to fit between the original uh, Jag cross member parts there. So that should work out all right. Um, yeah, this is a. This is a 351 block now, so it's um, it's a fraction bigger than the 302, but, but anyway, it's um, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, a little bit more horsepower with a bit of luck. Um, so yeah, so quick video on the engine mounts. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. Like I said, I could have I could have um, put put a, a a bar under the engine, but the, the the problem is that um, basically it's starting to get a bit crowded in there because I've got the that tube in front of the bell housing. That's for the um, that's for the hollow section sway bar. Um, I wanted to mount it at the rear so it's on a thicker section of the chassis and probably be a little less flex than mounting it um, in front and. Um, should make it a um, little bit more rigid once the chassis gets boxed and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, quick.
quick look at the quick look at the twisted wedges. So uh, yeah, yeah, good good healthy port on those things. Should make some good power. So yeah, so that's um that's the that's the engine mounts uh, pretty much done now. So very happy with them. Like I said, overbuilt maybe in six mil, but um, shouldn't flex, shouldn't break. And um, just to um, I had a question from uh, Steve Boyd about um, the rear shock mounts, uh, the top the top mount of the, the shock, so um, I'll just move around the chaos here because it's been a big day. And um, I'll just I'll have to get my ruler. Um, there's my ruler. And um, yeah, so I uh, get my ruler. And anyway, uh, for Steve Boyd, he's been asking me questions and uh, about various things. And this one, I'll just I'll do it this way for you. A um, bit more visual. Um, okay, so what we've got. Um, I've stuck the um, I've stuck that big Allen key through the through the shock eye. Um, there's a it goes right through the chassis to the outside, and um, what I'll do is um, basically um, from that chassis point from the chassis rail. To out that's that's an inch um, that just sticks an inch out and from and and forward forward to the um, what would you call that the oh, it's the cross member with the handbrake and all the stuff from the factory um, basically that comes in at ten and a half inches mate so about there but anyway as you can see um, if you look on your chassis you'll see the original rivets and it's just a it's just a cheesy little plate um, that with this section that protrudes out from the um, the frame and it's absolutely parallel with this hole on the outside you've got the two rivets there and this this um, um, bed support truss or whatever you call it and uh, yeah so there's your um, there's your shock mount so I'd imagine it's pretty easy to fabricate anyway so um, yeah there you go one shock mount so I'll do that that'll do for uh, 21 um, I'll, uh, I'll pack it up but yeah, I just wanted to show uh, show the engine mounts um, and uh, just answer that question from uh, Steve Boyd about the, the the top the top shock mount for um, the chassis. So anyway, that'll do for 21. Uh, don't know what I'll do for 22. Um, I'll wait and see. <laughs> I'll go and get cleaned up and think about it. Anyway, cheers everyone.